Hi, my name is Dylan Hong and this is my review of the Picket Wireless Smartphone Printer. I've actually had my eye on this product for a while now because I think the idea of being able to take a photo with your smartphone and then print it out directly is amazing. So I had to ask Picket and see if I could take a look at their product. The Picket Smartphone Printer allows you to wirelessly connect to your phone through Wi-Fi and print out any of your photos on your phone. I'm a big fan of this sleek design and I really like this red color but it also comes in white. It charges through micro USB which is very standard and I haven't had any issues with battery life so far. After turning the printer on, you connect to it through the Wi-Fi settings on your phone. If you have an Android phone that supports NFC, you can also use that to pair to the printer. The printer itself is made out of this pretty cheap and light plastic. It's not too flimsy and I don't think it'll be bad in terms of durability, but it's not super high grade materials. The user interface of the app is pretty standard for this type of product. It's not amazing, but it's also not too difficult to navigate. Here I'm just going to try to take a photo of myself and then print it out right away. Once you select a photo, you can go ahead and print it through the app. The printing process this thing uses is actually really cool. It prints out the first layer in yellow, then it pulls it back in and then prints out the other color layers on top of it. Also, you never actually have to fill this thing up with ink. The paper cartridges that it comes with have the filament colors in them. Although those cartridges are a little bit expensive, I believe you can get around 50 pieces of paper for about $20. So this is what the final print looks like. They're pretty decent, but there are some lines in the photos and they're not as sharp as they could be. Although they're just about on par with what I expected from a printer of this size and type. Going back to the cartridges, when you do run out of paper, each cartridge holds around 10 prints. You can just open up the side, pull it out, get your new one, and then put it right back in. I wanted to show one more example of printing. This is a pre-existing photo that I had on my phone and I just selected it from my gallery. You can see that the app gives you a lot of adjustment options as well as some filters to choose from. I'm just going to fast forward through the actual printing part. Watching the printing happen is always fun by the way. And then here we have it. This is the final print. It's really just so much fun to have these photos with your friends and be able to print them out. Overall, I really like this product, and it's not because the picture quality is perfect or that the picture size is even that great because they are a bit small, but I just really find that there's something amazing about printing out a photo and just having a physical copy of, of a picture. And as you can see, I've actually lined my desk with these photos that I've printed because it just it's such a nice feeling and nice thing to have. At around $100 for the printer and then a bit more for the continuous use of cartridges, I wouldn't say this is a must have or a bargain, but I think if you're considering buying this printer, you will absolutely enjoy it and it'll be a lot of fun. This is definitely one of my favorite and most fun products that I've reviewed on this channel. My name is Dylan Hong, this has been Dylan Hong Tech, like and subscribe for some more tech goodness and thanks for watching. <laughs>